Welcome to Fly Eats. My name is Jessica, your host, Raspy Voice and all, here at Honey Uninhibited, ready to show y'all some Fly Eats and a super fly guest. Stay tuned. Welcome to Fly Eats. My name is Jessica, your host here at Honey Uninhibited in Miami. My special fly guest is a personal trainer, owner of Iron University, Aldo Paredes. <laughs> Did I say it wrong again? Yeah, no, you said it right. <laughs> okay, it perfect, right. perfect. I've been trying to get your last name together, but we got it. Um, so like I said, we're here at Honey Uninhibited, known for their breakfast and brunch. As you can see, we kind of went hard and created an epic cheat meal moment, um, to say the least. So, as we start, we'll do a little this or that game. All right, so cheat meal or cheat day? Cheat day, for sure. <laughs> Would you rather oh, yeah. savory or sweet? I like both. Yes, I'm like that. I'm like that too. I like to like eat something sweet and then get some fries in my mouth or whatever. Hell yeah. Right? Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. So um, we are having breakfast, and we kind of have the answer already. But would you prefer waffles? Or pancakes? Pancakes, for sure. I know. And we got red velvet pancakes, y'all, so it's about to go down. <laughs> All right, so let's start eating because we don't want anything to get hot. We also got avocado toast. Ooh, this looks really, really good. You guys can see that. Oh, my God. <laughs> a poached egg. That's truffle mac and cheese. They even have vegan sausages, which I'm really excited about. So we're gonna take our taste test. How's everything so far? Oh my god! Talk. So good. <laughs> okay. You sure you don't want to taste this vegan sausage? Hell no. <laughs> I'm a vegan. It's really, really good. All right. Oh no. Try it. Try it. Try it. It tastes very like handmade, like they put the lentils and beans. Yeah, just use your hands. What do you think? I was thinking my mac and cheese. <laughs> my real chicken. Right. You may not be a huge fan, but I am. So like I said, Aldo is a fitness trainer. He's the owner of Iron University. I'm so excited to have you here. And so how did you decide, or when did you decide to open Iron University, and what made you decide to invest in yourself to open a gym? Um, well, it happened like a year and a half ago. Oh, is was, that short? That's short. Yeah, yeah, a year and a half ago. I was a personal trainer, mm -hmm. and um, I was at a very, very, very small studio, and my business, my personal training business started picking up. Mm -hmm. And I was already booked back to back, so the only way I could expand my business was to add more clients to my to my hours. So I'd be training like four four girls every hour on the hour from like 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. till 12 at noon, and then again at like 4 35, 36, 37, 38, 30. Mm -hmm. And as I started to expand, there was no room in that little facility. So, I mean, like, I want, I didn't see myself expanding my business. Right, and in that because, place. Yeah, so that owner wasn't, like, expanding his place. So I was mm -hmm. like, you know what, I'm not going to, like, put my future in, a, in the hands of someone else. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know what, at the time I was saving up money to, to purchase a house. Mm -hmm. And then I decided last minute, you know what? You can't make money in the house, so I'm like, I'm just gonna to expand my business. I need to invest in myself, so I right. opened up um, Iron University, and I started buying equipment, driving around all of Florida, buying used equipment, and then um, I had like two storage spaces where I just started piling up all the gym equipment that I had picked, mm -hmm. opened the doors, and it was pretty much just for myself and my clients. But after that, I guess people just started like gravitating towards my gym because I guess they started realizing all the machines are unique. Right. And I guess just the vibe and the energy inside of there is different from all the other gyms out there because yeah. 
everybody that goes to my, to, walks through those doors are just like people that want to go there to train because yeah. it's very private I don't let anybody pretty much just walk in there and like just anybody off the street yeah. you have to be like I have to pretty much judge you I yeah. don't care I'm, I'm, I judge you <laughs> it's my house it's my yeah. I paid for everything so right. I, I let who I want in there and I don't it's like they're all my toys yeah. I'm not going to let anybody just play with my toys yeah rightfully so yeah, so it's like it's fair. my money it's my blood sweat and tears and that so I get to say who's allowed inside and who's right. not allowed inside so at the end well, of the day how do you like really judge that just based on like their their, their stupidity inside the gym if, <laughs> okay. they're, if they have no gym etiquette I'm like yo get out yeah. of here I'll take that $15 that they paid for the gym for the guest pass and kick them out. Mm-hmm. So, like, so you don't deal with people who are just kind of lingering, walking around. That's one thing I hate about going to like some of the bigger chain fitness centers. There's always like those group of guys and girls really who are just like hanging around or it's just about like, you know, the Instagram polls, like gym, gym day, whatever, but there's nothing actually happening. Yeah, no. My gym is like, yes, like social media is a big part of it. Yes. If you do take like pictures and videos and stuff. But that's not our main goal. Our main goal is to get a workout in and get out. Mm-hmm. That's it. Sometimes we don't even have music playing because everybody's screaming and dying in there. Like, yeah, you know, it, you're like, so focused. We're just so focused on the workout and that's it. Yeah. Like no one, like literally no, no one comes in to take pictures. Everybody goes there to work out. Yeah. Especially the aventura moms and the moms, soccer moms. Like, <laughs> I swear, like all my aventura moms work harder than people in Miami. I like, All the that. young kids and all the Instagram girls that are taking pictures. Yeah. They're like 50, 60 years old and they're pushing weight that yeah. guys are supposed to push weight around here and they don't mm-hmm. so well, I think and they might be just a little bit more motivated because they like know exactly what they want they want to be consistent with it because you know they're trying to snap back make sure they look good for their husband yeah. or you know be that cute mom in the carpool I don't know <laughs> the cute strong mom yeah. and so you know it's 2020 and everyone always has their new mantra for the new year new year new me I'm one of those people by the way um, Not me. Always yeah. ready to like, you know, lose that 10 pounds for the year, 20 pounds, transform their body. But why do you feel like um, it's so hard for people to be consistent, you know, to like accomplish their fitness goals? Okay, that's so easy. Because they, they try to take on too many things at once. They try to diet, they try to hire a trainer, they try to do cardio, they try to do this and all that, all at Definitely one time. For me to do Go ahead. So it's like the way I approach my my clients is them showing up to the gym and buying a package of personal training sessions. Yeah. That's the investment that they should just focus on right there is showing up to the gym and that's more than enough for me. Okay. So then they start asking me, oh, what should I eat? I'm like, yo, just keep eating whatever the, whatever you eat right now. Just keep eating. I don't care what it is. Just keep eating. Just show up to the gym. And I use those calories that they use. Uh Uh-huh. To build muscle. Oh. So, so you do feel like you can out, because I feel like I've always learned that or heard that you can't um, outwork out a diet. You can't. I mean, you can. But I mean, you know what I mean? Or, or, or you can't. Outrun a diet. Yeah. You can't so out, like you have to, diet. Right, no. You have right, to right. Use, so, yeah. So when you you, I make them utilize whatever calories they use, they, they, they consume to build muscle. Okay. Because you need calories and carbs to build muscle. The right. more muscle you have, the more uh, calories you burn. Yeah. So I just tell them, just keep eating what you're eating. They're like, what? Excuse me? And then now their body composition is changing because mm-hmm. they're adding more muscle to them, but they're okay. also burning some kind of fat because they're building muscle. Mm-hmm. So now when they look in the mirror, they're like, wow, my body's changing. Wow. But now they're self-motivated to, to, to be like, yeah, maybe if I change my diet a little bit. Or if oh, I okay. Did I a see little what bit you're of, saying. Then that'll lean cut. them out a little bit more. Yeah, they'll, like mentally, right. they'll want to do it instead of having the trainer say, okay, right. you got to eat this. You got to do this. You got to do this. It's like mm-hmm. it's overwhelming for people. Mm-hmm. Like the general public can't really like deal with all that stress. That makes sense. But I feel like when I go work out at the gym, that usually sets the tone, especially in the mornings, I'm a morning workout person. Yeah. That usually sets the tone for like how I'm gonna eat the rest of the day. So it's like, if I know like, oh man, I just did like all this like great exercise there. Yeah. So if I wanna keep that going, I'm probably gonna mentally somewhere in my subconscious, I'm like, maybe I shouldn't go so hard on the carbs that day because I wanna kind of like maintain that. But do you think that matters too or no? It does, but Food always matters, but I feel like 
when you think when you when when I deal with the general public, I think about the general public. They're not athletes. Right. You can tell an athlete is like to think like that and right. they're, they're on and on switch. So I go through the mind of uh, the general public like how am I going to be able to motivate them in order to for them to succeed right. instead of always failing which pretty much a lot of people do majority of the time that's why new year new me it's right. always the thing always so I try to help them kind of like guide themselves into that yeah navigate outside exactly. of that exactly I feel like what I've noticed with you when I watch you on social media is that you definitely take pride and like you said, your machines and the things that you have in your gym. But not only that, you can see that you exhibit that you're like um, a student of fitness as well. You know what I'm saying? Like you seem like you really are not just like trying to tell people what to do, but you also are like invested in like learning what each machine really does, what the muscle, you know, target area really is. Not just one of those trainers that are just yeah. like, okay, do two reps of blah, 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 at the end. No, that's awesome mean? that you're here too because you know me since high school. Yeah. I was the kid that old, like was always lifting weights. I always skipped Remember, everybody would skip class to go to lunch. I Not skip class. Well, so I, I would skip to go to all PEs so I could go to weight training. <laughs> I would have nothing in my bag, just basketball shorts and a t-shirt, so I could just go and work weight out. Train. I had a like 1.6 GPA my senior year. All I cared, I swear to God, I had to get an override. No, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I would skip every time, every day to weight training. But from that passion as a little kid, I'm just fulfilling the, the little kid inside of me. That's why I'm so passionate. I'm always a student because I always know that there's new things going out right. in the ball. Like CrossFit just came out. Yeah, a lot of people think it's stupid, but it has some benefit. Like if yeah. a person's working out, yo, good for them. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're going to injure themselves, but everybody injures themselves. You could injure yourself, like, walking down the street, so it's like, pick your poison at the end of the day. As long as you're having fun and you're getting fit and you're doing what you love, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm all for that. But, like, you have to understand, like, you could always learn something. Like, a lot of trainers are, like, just, they're not open-minded. Right. They think their way is the best way to go or right. their way is the way. But at the end of the day, that they're going to lose those clients that end up falling short of their, their goals and stuff. And then their yeah. clients are going to go look at the, the trainers that are open-minded to mm -hmm. other ways of working out. And I had different, like, you know, trainers that I looked up to when I was younger, reading those muscle magazines right. during school. And once I was fortunate enough that financially I could go out and fly to them and train with them right. for weeks, it's different from watching them and reading about them to actually physically meeting them and them doing it. Yeah. So then that, those moments I was like, fuck, I've been doing everything wrong my whole entire <laughs> life. I've been lifting weights wrong. So yeah. that moment I was like, yo, I need to start like, yo, I've got to be doing this all the time with so different do you, trainers. Do you suggest for people, like, what do you feel like the benefit is of having a trainer and maybe if there are some cons, what you think a con is in having a trainer? What was the question again? Well, um, the, the benefits and the, like, the maybe benefits? Okay, not so, good things about having a trainer. So what I see when, when, when people come to me from other trainers, okay. they say, oh, I've been training wrong my whole entire life. Mm -hmm. Like, what am I going to do when I go back to my trainer back okay. at home? Like, I'm going to fire him. <laughs> and then I tell him, like, look, like, you needed that trainer to get where you're at. Right. Just like we need first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth okay. grade, fifth grade to okay. get to college level. Yeah. You need that, that foundation of, of exercise in order for you to get to where you're at right now. Right. Because for you to get here, like, you need to crawl before you, like, walk. Right. And, you know, to, I tell them the same thing. So, yes, there's no perfect way of doing, an ex like, an exercise, like, at the end of the day. Like, so you just got to, like, also invest your time into to educating yourself so because you're not just like gonna pop a pill and like think like the doctor knows everything that's right. it like you, you you're doing something to your body you need yeah. to like invest in what like in the education educate yourself and like learn what you're doing mm -hmm. why you're doing it not just throwing away your money right so I I think educating yourself a little bit and then also just hiring a trainer just to get your feet wet and then have them guide you a little bit and so you're not just going in there not knowing what you're doing yeah 
I'm but like, at the end, but also at the end, at the end of the day, if you're educating yourself, you who knows, you might end up yeah, loving it. And that's then true. You might become a trainer. Well, like, that happens to a lot of people too. Like they get so like you know immersed in like the healthy lifestyle, working out, all that stuff. That yeah, it becomes their passion. So then they are able. That's why so many Instagram accounts now have been able to kind of turn into their own personal experience into helping so many other people and create. You know, but what would you feel like are the best things that people should look for in a trainer to get the right one? Okay, so you know what I mean? Yes, so. I know the opposite. Like, I see, like, a lot of... Okay. I have ADHD. Slow down. Slow down. All right. So, the trainers that promote themselves on their pages and just... It's all about them with their shirts off or, Mm -hmm. like, showing their butts and stuff, whatever. Those are the whack ones. Like, they don't know what they're doing. (laughs) The really good trainers don't have the followers or don't have the content. Mm. But yet they're getting paid because uh-huh. they're too busy with clients with the work, yeah. and the work okay. to worry about themselves right. and like and, and the look of being a, tra- a trainer. Exactly. Like, yeah. And the other one, and so and the other ones are the ones that promote their clients mm. that give informative like uh, tips and exercises and videos and, yeah. and posts. Because at least they're, they're trying to show that they're, they're, they're educating themselves. Yeah. So those two type of trainers that, that promote like educational posts and like show videos of, of their clients training and those are the type of trainers you want to gravitate towards too. Right. Because they're tr- at least they're trying. Yeah. The other people are trying to show themselves off. That's true. Think about it. And that's what I've noticed throughout yeah. my whole entire years of training. I just feel like whenever I've gone to the gym and I've watched, especially in the larger chain, places is that when I watch trainers and like they just look so uninterested on their cell phone you know what I mean and they're just like yeah go do 12 reps of whatever and then that's like that's it you know what I'm saying so that's the part that always throws me off about getting a trainer I'm like I don't want to pay someone so much money Mm -hmm. just for them to semi be interested in what I'm doing but at the end of the day, you you have to pay, you pay what you I mean you get what you pay yeah, for what you too. Pay for, yeah. Like I have a lot of people like from high school and stuff like, hey, they ask me for, for my rates and I give them my rates. So like, okay, yeah, never mind. And yeah, that's happened to me. I definitely hit you up. I think. Really? Yeah, I think I want to say last year, and I sent him a message, y'all, and I was like, what are your rates? And he sent me the rates, and I was like. I'm really in my budget. <laughs> but I'm not going to lie. It's true. I, I think about it often because I'm like, when you see his work, your results speak for themselves. Yeah. So at the end of the day, it is an investment. And if I'm going to invest in whatever trip, invest in whatever meal that I like to go hard on, then why not invest in my own body? And so the price tag really doesn't make a huge difference when you're going to see the results and you walk around and you feel good and confident and you're learning from someone who has like the knowledge behind it as well. So I can see why people can be hesitant, but like you said, it's like, yeah, if you go to like what do I rather? Am I going to pay, you know, 250 like for someone? Yeah, yeah who's going to be on their phone and texting while I'm trying to like get my butt right? Like, exactly. That's not fair. <laughs> You get what you pay for, man. Like it's an investment yeah. at the end of the day. Like I'll tell you right now, like I pay like for one session, the most I paid is like seven hundred and fifty dollars a session for one hour. Wow. And I like and I don't just go there for one session right. session. I go there for like a week and just train with them. Right. And it's 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 life changing. Yeah. And it's a and like it's, it's an investment it. too. Yeah. Like I've made that return and like that's true. Just, like quick. And on top of that, the majority of these trainers don't even do half what I like go yeah. out. They don't even travel to other trainers and right. like learn from them. So it's like it just I, I don't know. It just like that's I know you want to go. Hell yeah! This is the uninhibited burger, y'all. <laughs> it's with a waffle, and I didn't even know it's coming out green, but it's just pretty exciting. Oh my gosh! Shit. It's breaking. <laughs> Okay. Do you need more napkins? I feel like you do. <laughs> Y'all know I don't eat meat, but there's bacon in there. It's a homemade well, housemade patty, housemade waffle that's green, and I think that's just so cool. I don't know why it's green. How does it taste? You can't even talk. 
Yeah. Okay, take a sip. <laughs> this is for sure, y'all, an epic cheat meal. Oh, I got syrup in the napkin. Oh, that's what I'm missing. Oh, okay. Hell I'm playing yeah. no game. <laughs> As you can see, I watch what I eat. <laughs> so before we even did this, I was asking him, where should we go? You know, I was thinking, oh my God, he probably just wants to have like avocado toast. And like, yeah. we do have avocado toast here, which we're going to go in on, a poached egg, which is amazing. But he was like, no, I don't believe in eat clean, eating clean. So I was like, what? All my life I've been told I need to eat clean to lose weight. And here's a trainer telling me a complete opposite. But basically I get what you're saying though. Basically working out to fit your eating lifestyle as well. And making that work for you. Exactly. Right. Okay, so let's say I'm trying to lean out or whatever. I don't know. Whatever. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do keto for like six months. Specifically to target the type of body uh, that I'm looking for. Do you feel like that's the mindset to have? Or it's kind of like just make it a lifestyle thing? Because I've always felt like if you make it less complicated, then that makes it easier. Like, Well, first, yes. First, try to diet out before you make it a lifestyle. Right. So, because yeah. you need to know the diet before you take that 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 decision saying okay I'm gonna get a lifestyle yeah. try all different types of diets see how see what works for you see what works for you but there's also nutritionists out there that that, that go by your blood type and like that actually know which diet is best for you and then mm-hmm. they'll construct a, a nutritional plan for you or diet plan for you and then go on from there but people forget but people are uneducated where they think a diet's not working after two weeks ah. So before those two weeks, they don't see any results or whatever the case may be, or they drop a couple pounds and then by the second week they're not doing no, nothing's happening and they right. quit. Right. And then they're like, oh, probably why everyone is at the gym like exactly. the first two weeks of the month. It's like, and then by like January twentieth, it's like empty again. Yeah. So like they, they they try they always say I tried every diet. Okay, if you right. tried every diet, you have the body that you wanted, right? Like, so, so then what happened? It's a consistency that right. they always fall short of. Mm-hmm. So once you find a diet that suits you and that like it got to where where you wanted, right. like say for instance, we start off a diet with all this, right. and then we ended up six months down the road, and this is all we consume right here. Mm-hmm. But you have the body that you want. Right. Now you try to figure out how do you maintain this portion of food right. to keep well, this to keep exactly. Okay. And then certain times you could have this or this. But you, you learn how, how your body reacts to those foods at what time. Like after yeah. your workout, consume this because your metabolism is firing. Do you do that. a lot of like, do you suggest a lot of like hit workouts? Or is it like, you know, weight training? Like how long do you think is like a 30 minute workout effective? An hour at the gym effective? Uh, it depends. Different, vari- yeah. different variables. Yeah. It depends on the, on, the, on the individual. Like if someone's like very busy, then 30 minutes is all they have. But so they can they, they get their goal within that. With the right person and the right diet. Uh, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Supplementing everything else. And yes, it's going to be a lot harder, but it's, it's, a, right. it's obtainable. But like ideally, like weight training and cardiovascular um, exercise are both like the best bet. Yeah. But I also like to involve everything else, like yoga and all that stuff. Like oh, Pilates. Okay. Yeah, but no one's going to really do all that stuff. <laughs> no one has that much time. But Well, I know you started like here group workouts at your gym yeah. like the glute workouts which yeah. I love and everyone likes to have a nice booty yep so do you are you adding like other group, like targeted we have a, yeah we have an upper body on Mondays and then uh, we're adding more group classes um, throughout the days because a lot of people want to start coming so it's like we just started off with like two classes three classes and now it's getting so popular that they're demanding other times so we're adding more times this year and then we're also branching off to my friend's gym over here at Elevation Mm -hmm. we're starting to do the group camps over there at 7am on Saturdays and then probably we're going to work more north to his Miami Shores area and then we're going to start looking for gyms in the Fort Lauderdale and Delray and Boca wow, area. Oh, yeah. So. so you're going to be expanding everywhere. Yep. That's amazing. It seems like your target, I don't know, client or people that come in is a lot of women, right? Yeah. <laughs> is that something that just kind of happened or is it like just... 
I mean, at the end of the day, women are the majority of people that hire trainers anyways. Yeah. If you think about it, like, yeah. it's always the woman. That, and who's who's always paying? The husband or the that's actual true. woman? So, yeah. it's, that's it's just, that's how it is, yeah. So. Do you think that a lot of guys think that they know what they're doing at the gym and that's why they don't like to hire a trainer? Yeah, that's, it's, all, it's all ego. That's why, like, even, like... Everybody asks me, like, why don't you train guys? And I don't want to train guys because they're, they're pussies at the end of the day. <laughs> like, women are stronger. They have higher pay yes, bonds than men do. That's not true. Like, they are the biggest babies, man. Like, <laughs> I, like, it hurts. No shit. Like, no. no it does hurt. Like, uh, oh, my knee hurts. I have an injury. Yeah, from high school. You're, like, 40-something years old. You don't play soccer anymore. Get the fuck out of here, man. They're just fucking babies. Like, women actually push. Like, yeah. they um, are, Leo. You know, they have the, because they deliver babies. I was just about to say, like, yeah. they do a lot. Yeah. Of course, I think all the top pain tolerance for sure a little bit higher. Yeah. Maybe a lot higher. A lot higher. A lot higher. So, what has been, do you think, like, the biggest hardship in, like, having your own business and creating your brand and, like, watching it grow? Um, Do you feel like you've hit a lot of hurdles or it's just kind of been flowing? I don't know if it's, if it's really anxiety I think, or my ADHD. It's like, because I'm always thinking, like, I, I call it spaghetti yeah. brain, whatever. Because I'm always thinking ahead and uh-huh. I forget to experience, like, enjoy the, the, for present, the, time. the present time. Okay. Because, like, I'll, like, I accomplished all my goals this year, but I, I still feel like I'm, like, well, I'm not like I'm happy. I'm, right, I'm, but do you feel like you just always have to like exactly? It was like, exactly. It's okay. like okay, I planned this back then, and then you get it, and I get it. But I'm not like celebrating the way I should be because okay. I'm already playing like ten steps ahead. Okay. So okay. that's the biggest struggle is like knowing that you could accomplish something when you put your mind to it. Right. But then you don't appreciate it once you get there because mm-hmm. when you when you make that decision, you pretty much accomplish it right. by making the decision because right. you know you could accomplish it. Right. So it's like all you the only thing that, that that's on your mind is the time mm-hmm. out from here to here. Then once you accomplish it, it's like okay, next, right. next. The next so the next. struggle for me is to appreciate it because right. if, if, if you don't, then you're going to get burnt out. Yeah. So that is like a big, big, big thing I always got to tell myself is like not to slow down but to appreciate like yeah. Don't like just, just, take it, it just take it all in for a couple months, you know, make the money back or <clears throat> grow a little bit more and then go on to the next thing. Instead of yeah. trying to do all these things, even though it's a good thing, but it's only me. I have no investors, it's just me. Right. So like I have the group camps that are growing. I have uh, trainers underneath me that I'm teaching. I got my clients that I have. I got the gym now that I'm letting other people come in. Yeah. And like my own personal workouts. Right. And like I have to feed myself so I have to cook. Yeah. Like I have a dog now. Yeah, like, right, right. so it's like all this, all these things. Like yeah. I need to like, yeah. Call my, so it's like kind of manage it all. Exactly. Yeah. But I mean, you should be so proud of yourself, though, for you to have said like where you came from as far as like in high school. Like you know, you were to talk to the old Aldo. <laughs> wow. And so that high school Aldo, the 1.9 GPA Aldo, and you were going to be a business owner, an entrepreneur, someone who's leading in you know such a huge genre, like. Yeah. That's a major accomplishment. Like you yeah, gotta take real. that in and be like, "Damn, I am like, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty dope." I you gotta, know? Yeah, I always gotta tell myself that. Yeah, and so I thought this was amazing because you know everyone in our age group, in the 30s group, I think, grew up watching wrestling. Uh huh. I know I did, especially with my yeah, brother, yeah. my cousins. <laughs> And you know you had the Rock like himself like oh, yeah. out That's like crazy. for the Rock to shout you out. I mean I know you have a beautiful mural yeah. at the gym, but how was that for him to like shout you out and like so give he, you that recognition? Like he's my idol. So yeah. since like since I was a kid, he was my idol and. That's why I put up his mirror because that's the only, like, when it comes to, like, working out and, like, just being focused and yeah. consistent, like, he's the only, like, individual that I think about. So, when I put up the mirror, no, we're still working on it. Yeah. Um, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> You're and good. And then, um, so, I didn't know that, I, I was taking a nap at that moment, and I see my phone blowing up, and then I'm looking at it, I'm like, what the hell, and it just goes, 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 I'm like, what's going on? Mm-hmm. My phone's going crazy. <clears throat> And I scroll and it says the rock motivation, the rock this, and a bunch of like fake accounts. I'm yeah. like, whatever, whatever. And I keep scrolling, I see the rock. I'm like, and I'm like waking up from a nap. I'm like, 
there's no way. So I go, and I'm like, what the, f- what the, f-? and then now I'm getting phone calls and shit. I'm like, yeah. holy crap. And I'm reading the caption, and he spelled out my name, and I was like, he spelled out my name. He actually spelled out my like, name. Like, this is happening. Like, this is happening. Yeah. And then it was, it was, it was unreal. Like, that was the most, like, that was one of the most exciting days of my life. I'm sure. Yeah. It's awesome what you look up to. Weird. And I honestly feel like you guys have the same, I mean, I don't know the rock, child. Me neither. I wish I did. But I'm just saying, as far as um, being, like, positive and kind of having, like, this energy about them, because, I mean, I haven't seen you in a long time, but just based on social media, the things that you post and the, like, motivational, like, you know, pieces that you post, because you can post anything, right? You could just be posting every workout, which you post a lot of those, too. But I feel like you also make it a point to post things to kind of, like, inspire people as well, which I feel like aligns with the type of person that I walk has always represented, you know, just someone who's, like, positive, just inspiration. So yeah, that's I, I think it from. makes sense that, you know, that he was your, he has been your idol yeah. up to this point. Because, like, at the end of the day, you never hear him, like, talk down about, well, maybe in wrestling, but, yeah. like, in a joking way, like, right, 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 for right. everybody to laugh. Yeah. Even the guy, the, the person that he's making yeah. fun of is probably laughing at the yeah. same time, too. So it's, like, same thing with me. Yeah, I know, like... I just know where to where my yeah. boundaries are because of, of him. So and I know how to make everything a little bit more uh, appealing to everybody around. Right. So. Yeah. Oh, wait, you need to eat this too. You have avocado toast, which I was like so excited. Oh, this is like a thick piece of bread too, y'all. Mm. You're eating the burger with knife and fork. Trying to be classy now. We have enough napkins. <laughs> okay. Can we cheers? Cheers. Oh my god, is there strawberries here? Oh my what? god, this is like oh no, it's pepper, it's pepper. Yay! Cheers. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna go in. Wow. I wasn't as messy but this is really good it's avocado toast with arugula and a poached egg there's a big ooh a big roasted pepper in here that's really yummy and the toast is like nice and crunchy still Oh, I got honey uninhibited. It's crazy good. It was really, really good. Three things so far. Woo! <laughs> My sure. And I'm gonna take up this red velvet while well, I mean pancake. Red velvet is my favorite. It's red velvet with strawberries and chantilly cream. I think there's chocolate chips in it too. So, I'm gonna do this. I'm so excited. I don't know why I always pour syrup like real extra. <laughs> why is it a leaf? You know, just to make it cute. <laughs> I can't with you. <laughs> Alright, hang on by. Oh my gosh. Go ahead, I'll go take some. Yeah. It's so good. It's like it's fluffy. It's it red, red velvet. Not just like dyed red velvet, you know. I think we need more syrup. <laughs> we need more syrup. Wow. This is amazing. I suck at you. Uh, yeah, you're like Jesus. a very messy eater. <laughs> <laughs> they need to make bigger like spoons and stuff. Yeah, I see. Wow, it's amazing. So what do you feel like is the biggest, or what would you say the biggest like live fitness tip for 2020 and everyone who's trying to get fine this year should focus on? Educating yourself. Mm-hmm. 
because there's a lot of phony things out there and at the end of the day there's a bunch of information that's free yeah use the technology that's out and because back in my day I had to like yeah. stand in front of Walgreens and read the magazines and not pay for them so now we have YouTube right. and we have social media so there's a lot of free information out there and everybody's just being lazy and just wants to like hire somebody and yeah. get a shortcut but then they don't end up getting the goal or they get injured and yeah. they're paying some kid that just pretty much woke up one day and decided to become a trainer mm-hmm. and you're paying that person to train you when yeah. they have no knowledge so educate yourself before you you know you hire Allow somebody hire exactly like it's not that hard like, well, do you think it's important to always get a trainer that's certified? It's all about experience. Okay. All about experience. Yeah. I mean, a, a combination of both, but if you have the experience, then obviously you're going to have the science background to right. it and have some knowledgeable, you know, educational background mm-hmm. as well. But experience is like the most important thing because, mm-hmm. you know, I've been doing it for like 20 plus years since middle school. I was yeah. remember. So, I mean, I don't have a license right now right, right, right. so I mean it doesn't matter but I mean your work speaks for itself I mean everyone exactly. who comes to your gym is like at risk yeah like the abs the butt ratio is rare <laughs> like stomach is flat booty is popping yeah like all that my stomach getting flat well mine's gonna well be either after all this food mm. but that's okay oh my god alright so my last question mm. What makes you so fly? What makes me so fly? Yeah. I'm just a kid doing what he loved to do since he was a child and just living his dream every single day. Oh, no. What? You're so sweet. What do you mean? It's true. I'm like the, the kid that has everything that you just wanted. Aww. I'm just doing what I love. I'm making money and eating. <laughs> Mac and cheese. <laughs> So I just want to thank you all, of course, for being here. We're going to finish up on this thank epic you. cheat meal oh, yeah. here at Honey Uninhibited. Thank you so much, Honey Uninhibited, for having us here. If you're in the Brickell area, make sure you come by and have some great breakfast. And invite me. And lunch. Yeah, you can invite us. We will definitely join you to, like, indulge again. And make sure to put all of all those information. But make sure you follow him at Iron underscore University on Instagram. Follow Fly Eats Show. Like and subscribe. And we'll catch you guys on the next episode of Fly Eats.